Hey fishy folks and happy Thursday to you. Welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video is going to be on a do-it-yourself snail trap. Actually two do-it-yourself snail traps. One of which I stole from another YouTuber and I told him I was going to steal it and he said more power to you. I'll link his video as well down below and when we get to the snail trap. Before we talk about snail traps I have two things to mention. Do me a favor go ahead and Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And of course the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. The second thing is pretty exciting. I will be at the Big Fish Deal, which is uh, in Gaithersburg, Maryland on Saturday the 14th of March. That's the show that's put on by the Capital Cichlid Association. Um, never been to it. I've heard great things about it. It's fun size this year, which means it's smaller. It's just... Uh, one day Saturday and I know a bunch of other youtubers will be there my friend Scott's the one that's kind of organizing the YouTube group so uh, Rachel Leary will be there John and Lisa from KG Tropicals uh, Joseph from JH down in uh, St. the US Virgin Islands I think St. John he lives uh, Susie Q will be there a bunch of other youtubers of course Scott and Liz from King and Queen Cichlids and um, Sean Peck Tech will be there looking forward to hanging out with Sean and uh, it should be a fun time. So if you're in the area, come and stop by and say hi to us YouTubers and spend lots of money in the vendor room. All right, do it yourself snail trap. Before we get started, you're gonna need some things. You're gonna need a snack and a beverage. And of course, I wanna know what said snack and beverage are. Also, I've been getting some comments about the shirts I've been wearing because uh, I have my new food channel, Michael's Eats, and I've been uh, trying to hawk those shirts. I have like, you know, bacon shirts and pizza shirts, and this one says, I love food, the end. You could check out my Teespring store, which I will link down below, um, as well as in this video if I can figure out how to do that. Basically, the shirts are cool and they support the channel. They help me buy the ingredients for the food uh, channel, Michael's Eats, where I make delicious treats and meals. All right, snail trap, here we go. You need a deli cup. Now I have two snail traps. This is the one you actually have to make. The other one is pretty easy. So these are deli cups. Um, I'll put a link for Amazon. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them uh, if you go to a deli and buy, you know, potato salad or, or coleslaw or, you know, three bean salad, whatever you might buy. Comes with a lid, whatever. So I stole this from the Budget Aquarist. Uh, Bruce is a subscriber of mine and as you guys might know, I don't really watch much YouTube other than, uh, not even my stuff, but occasionally I'll watch some of Scott's videos because he's my boy, and um, I also watch Aquarium Adventures, Graham sometimes, because uh, we look alike, and um, that's pretty much it. I don't watch any of the big YouTubers. Uh, I don't watch Corey or Rachel or Joey or um, anyone, really. I just don't have time, and I'm not really interested. I know that sounds weird and all, but anyway, so... Uh, Bruce was like, hey, um, check out this snail trap on one of my videos or something. And so I did. And it was pretty smart and pretty ingenious. So I'm going I'm to steal his idea, which I told him I'm going to do. Check out his channel and uh, check out this easy snail trap. You need a deli cup and some scissors. And basically you're going to cut a small notch. Now, you could, Bruce likes to tape the edges so it doesn't rip more. I'm going to cut a little bit more off. These deli cups can be a little fragile, and what I mean by that is they could crack. They're not soft, so they don't really bend, they kind of crack, and then that kind of makes them useless. Sharp scissors help, but all right, so here's what you do. You cut that little notch, and then I'm gonna show you in the tank what to do. The other snail trap is already in a tank doing its thing, and I'll show you that as well. All right, fishy folks, I'm gonna set the camera up to show you both snail traps, and when I do that, refill your snack and beverage if you have to. And uh, don't forget to check out the Budget Aquarius. You should subscribe to his channel as well. Stand by for uh, do-it-yourself snail trap in action. All right, fishy folks, this is my green cobra grow-out tank. It's actually a breeding tank, not really a grow-out tank. There's also some uh, brown, long fin brown plecos in there. And uh, this tank is doing quite well. Um, I originally got these guppies from Live Aquaria. And I wasn't really sure what they were because they were small and they couldn't tell me. But I treated them and fed them well and uh, let them grow out. There's probably five drops of fry since I got them. 
don't worry guys I'm fine and uh, they're doing well they are for sale on Michael's fish room the website I have where you can buy most of the fish I have in the fish room I say most because some are just not big enough to sell yet now keep in mind guys it is January here in New Jersey and it was like 28 degrees when I left work tonight and this morning it was in the low 20s so I will not be shipping until sometime after it warms up which will either be uh, sometime in March or early April. I do have that noted on my website and I just want you guys to know if you buy fish now, which is fine, so you reserve the fish you want, I won't ship until it warms up. All right, fishy folks, let's talk about this do-it-yourself snail trap that I stole this idea from Bruce, the budget aquarist. We have our deli cup, uh, which I forgot to tell you, drill some holes in it just to drain the water out. Now, let me show you how this works. It definitely works easier with less fish in the tank, but I don't really have that luxury right now. You kind of want to burp all the air out. Then, try not to trap any fish. Put it up against a glass like this. Now you see the notch and you see the snail? Target acquired, and you have to make the noise. And then, you just move this up and down until the snail comes off the glass, like that. And then, if you can do this carefully, you can grab the snail without it dropping out of the tub. There you go. Now you can feed it to your flower horn. Now, you guys might be saying to yourself, but Mike, with one snail, why don't you just pick it off with your hands? And you certainly can do that. I'm just showing you, if you have more than one snail, you have a multiple snail infestation that you have this ability to, to make this awesome do-it-yourself snail trap. And I'm gonna give this snail to Chewy. You guys wanna watch Chewy eat the snail? That would be pretty cool. Let me set the camera up, stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're here at my yellow cobra breeding tank. And uh, this tank really has a bunch of juveniles and one male, adult male, and one semi-adult female. Anyway, um, let me show you my other do-it-yourself snail trap. And this is what most snail traps are based on, this exact principle. A cup of some sort, a container if you will, some sort of vessel to catch the snails. I am using a deli cup again. Why? Because they're cheap and I love them and I have a plethora of them in the fish tank. In the fish room, not fish tank. I think I've used plethora twice in this video. That's probably a record of some sort. Anyway, getting off track. You take your deli cup and I happen to use a fork to weigh it down um, and I put some bait, bait in there. Basically, I took a kelp wafer from Northfin that I buy at supercichlids.com and leave it in there. If you leave it in there overnight with the lights off, you get a much more higher, a much higher yield of catching said snails. But let me show you how you, uh, how you empty this, how you catch these guys. Basically, take it like this and boom, more snails for the Chewmeister. I'm gonna let the water drain out through the holes that I've drilled. <coughs> Again, I'm fine. And that's that, folks. That is all there is about how to catch snails with do-it-yourself snail traps. I am gonna take the kelp wafer that I left in there. Uh, I probably left the, the kelp wafer and this in there in the tank for, I don't know, maybe half an hour. That's why that, that kelp wafer has maintained most, most of its structural integrity. Uh, but I'm gonna let the uh, plecos that are in there. These are the uh, surviving plecos from the long fins that I had that catastrophic failure, catastrophic death of uh, plecos in. This is the same tank. There are three juveniles in here that are growing quite nicely. All right, fishy folks, that does it. I'm gonna feed the rest of these snails to Chewy. And uh, that's that. All right, fishy folks, there's Chewy my super red dragon flower horn and his ginormous cock. He's doing well. While I'm here, I could do an update on the Japanese box filter, but let me see if I can get, get him eating this snail. So here we go, folks. It's only gonna happen once. Get ready, watch quickly. 
He missed. What a loser. His cock got in the way. Now he doesn't know where it is. I don't even know where it is. Did he eat it? Where'd it go? It's gone. That was very anticlimactic. Let me find another one, stand by. Okay, Chewie, don't miss this one. Oh my God, oh my God, what a loser. All right, he got it. Chewie's the man, look at him. Look at his ginormous cock, there it is. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the snail feeding as well as the do-it-yourself snail trap video. Don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, and my new cooking channel, Michael's Eats. And I'll, hopefully I'll see you at the Big Fish Deal in Gaithersburg, Maryland on March 14th. See you guys. And uh, that's the show that's put on by the Capital... Capital... Wow.